In this module, we start by registering as a merchant for an affiliate. Previously, you were introduced to the three handymen of affiliates and discovering the type of payments existed for the affiliates. Here, you will be guided through this step-by-step -step on how to register to an affiliate, creating your payment profile and adding products to your affiliate page. At the jvzoo.com homepage, click the Sign Up button on the top right of the screen. Fill in the necessary information and sign up. You'll be directed to your personal page in jvzoo.com. First thing you'll need to do is familiarize yourself with the payment profile. Click the Payment Profile button from your current page. If you scroll down, you'll see multiple options of payment that you can do. JVZoo.com allows two configurations of payment. You would either receive payment when customers pay you using vendor payments or using user payments which is used to receive affiliate or joint venture payments from the vendors. Since you're a seller that wants an affiliate to earn traffic, it's recommended that you opt for the vendor payment type. Regardless, it's up to what works for your business best. If you're inclined towards PayPal, then simply click the option indicated. Clicking Configure Now will direct you to the next page. Simply follow the instructions to link PayPal to your JVZoo account. You'll need to have a premium or a business PayPal account verified by PayPal in order to link it to JVZoo first. To do so, you'll need to provide your PayPal email account and follow the instructions given by JVZoo.com. Click Save to update your payment profile. Heading back to your seller dashboard, you'll have the option to apply for JVZoo.com's GetResponse account. According to JVZoo.com, this account will ensure that your buyers will be added instantly to your mailing list. Getting a GetResponse account will allow you to try it for free on a 30-day trial. If you like to keep mailing lists of all the customers who bought your product, then sign up, fill in the information needed, and create your account. Activate your free trial account by filling in the necessary details needed once you click the link from your email. You'll be directed to a whole new page and this will require you to navigate and learn how to create a feedback form and newsletter. Do remember that your free trial expires in 30 days. If you think you could just create your own newsletter using a normal email hub, then there's no point in purchasing GetResponse. Otherwise, GetResponse is your assistant. However, keep in mind that getting a GetResponse account is optional. Some of you are probably content with only driving traffic without adding up your mailing list. Now that you've set up the basis for your profile, it's time to drive that traffic.